What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is main deck Monday and we're looking at the deck that won Athens Regionals two weeks ago, uh, which is the Speed Dark Rai deck. Now this deck was really hyped up going to Regionals. I think it won like multiple League Cups the weekend before. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, this is the new best deck, blah, blah, blah. And it turned out it was one of the best decks. Now, with looking at this deck, it definitely reminded me a lot of Pancakes. You use the Max Luxers, you just power a bunch of Pokemon, you just spread your energies around, and then you start life stream. I mean, Dark Pulsing for a ton of damage, which definitely reminds me of just like straight Pancakes, uh, but without the Snorlax and the Red Rock or Electrike, if you saw my list at Athens, I did play an Electrike, which was very, very funny. But let's go over this deck, let's see what's it about, and let's see the, guess the new improved pancakes without Snorlax, so I guess we'll just call it a speed Darkrai. So Darkrai is our main attacker, it has the attack Dark Pulse, 20, and this attack does 20 more damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon, so it's exactly like Lifestream, except um, it's only for Dark, and it needs a DC, so it's a little bit better. And it's a basic, so that's the difference. Uh, Xerneas is not a basic. It can count DCs, and Darkrai can count only Dark Energies. So that's what we're going to try to do today. A Dark Head can do 80, Fighting Field 90, whatever. So your other attacker is going to be Evatol with the Blue Wing 30, and attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Now this is another difference between, uh, I'm going to compare a lot between this and Pancakes. Um, because the Blue Wing only gets one energy and it has to be out of your discard pile, while Xerneas can get two energies out of your deck and attach them to two of your bench Pokemon. So there is one key difference right there. Uh, but still really good to like Sycamore and start powering up with Dark Blue Wing and stuff like that. Uh, one Hoopa to Scoundering search for three EX Pokemon and two Shaman to help set up. So Pokemon wise, um, this deck doesn't play like a Red Rock or Electrike. It doesn't play other attackers like Lugia or Snorlax. It's just going to all rely on the Dark Ride with the Dark Pulse attack. Alright, so the deck plays 1 Enhanced Jammer, discard a Special Energy, 2 Escape Rope. And this is where I kind of like don't, I don't know, I feel really kind of strange about this list. 2 Escape Rope, 1 Switch, and 1 Floatstone. If I was playing this deck, I would definitely cut a Switch for another Floatstone. Or cut double, I'd probably yeah, cut the Switch for a Floatstone and have 2 Floatstones. So that way, Mega Hoopa and my Evil Talk can both have Floatstones to own them. Um, yeah, that's probably the only change I would make uh, right now, looking at the stack as we're going on. Uh, three Trainers Well, four Ultra Ball, four Via Secret, which is becoming very common for some reason nowadays. Um, the three four four, actually two four four, and sometimes zero four four is uh, getting seen more and more for nowadays. So this list is going to be one Reverse Valley. Um, so your Dark Pokemon do ten more damage. And two Sound Lab. Now, the Sound Labs is going to help you a lot against the Gardevoir decks um, because Gardevoir, you know, they have to discard a bunch of Pokemon to knock out a Darkrai and they got to build their bench back up. But if you have a Sound Lab out, you can shut them down uh, significantly and make them struggle to knock out your Darkrais. And we do have resistance to Psychic. Um, and Mega Gardevoir is a Psychic type because it's a dual type. So that's good. Uh, one Hex Maniac and one Pokemon Sterility. Both these cards are going to help you out against Greninja. Hex Maniac can shut down abilities to the end of the opponent's turn. And Pokemon Sterility is just good overall. It heals 60 and removes all special good conditions, uh, which, like I said, can, you help, can help you out against uh, Greninja. And things that don't one shot you, obviously. Two Lysander, bring a Pokemon on the bench. Three in and four Sycamore. And one Team Flare Gun to discard energy attached to your opponent's act Pokemon. And you will see that Team Flare Gun does play a huge part in this deck. Um, for like to counter the Reg Ice and Jolteon decks. Because there's no Ranger. But to Reg Ice and Jolteon, you can still like Escape Rope to switch out the active. And then Slice in there to bring a backup to take a knockout. Which is a little cool play that you can do. Uh, two EXP share, so if Pokemon's knocked out, it can transfer Dark Pokemon from your active to your bench, um, and just reserve your Dark Energies. We saw this in uh, Pancakes, in which um, so the big difference right now that we've noticed is Pancake does play Max Luxer, instead plays DCEs, and uh, we both play EXP shares, which is very funny because I don't think anybody really played EXP shares. Maybe Jolteon, uh, Jolteon played EXP shares, but. Really, nobody was using EXP shares, so I'm just going to say Pancake started the EXP share revolution. 
Uh, two fighting field to give your dark eyes 40 more HP. And this is going to be the big difference. Because Xerneas Breaks only has 150 HP. But a dark RX has 220 HP. And that thing is a tank. Uh, that is very scary. Uh, one Flowstone to give your Pokemon a free treat. Like I said, I probably could have switched for another Flowstone. And 12 Dark Energies to try to get as many Dark Energies on your field. And a part of me kind of wants a Super Ride while playing these games. I did run out of energy sometimes. Um, so the t Super Ride might be somewhat useful. But there we go, guys. There is Chris's list that he used to win. Athens Regionals had a phenomenal run. Did beat Vest Queen uh, Zipstrika. Garboder in the finals. Uh, so very exciting for sure. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Monday. And let's see the deck in action. Alright, so putting in Sephora, Sarah Feel, uh, playing a Psychic and a Colors deck, which could be Mega Mewtwo, but I had to take a wild guess. Now, this matchup is going to be somewhat interesting because will it need two energies on our Dark Rise to actually attack? Alright, oh no, our hand is terrible. <gasps> nah, unless we. No, our hand is terrible. Like, we need an in. Oh man, this is this is bad, guys. This is bad. Okay, so um, bu 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 yeah. I mean, if we top deck an Ultra Ball, we can Ultra Ball this card, Team Flecker, and a, a Lysander, grab a Hoopa, Scoundering, uh, put a Dark Energy Shaman set up, and maybe be okay. Just gonna wait and see what our opponent is playing. Maybe they're not playing Mega Mewtwo. Maybe they're playing Mega Alakazam. And nope, nope, there's Mewtwo. All right, I was just gonna say, I don't think Mega Alakazam is really a deck anymore, especially with the Mitchell Valley rotating out. But Mewtwo in the Axe Spot does our opponent play in, and that would be fantastic to get a new hand of six. Um, oh, oh, Spinning Wheel of Death is on my screen right now. My okay, there's gone. Alright, so let's see what the Seraph file feel 7 do here. Well, like I said, we only need two energies on our Dark Rider to attack, so that's base 70 off Mewtwo. And the Fighting Fury Belt, we have 220 HP, so they need to hit for like 1. Nah. I already forgot how much damage they're doing. 70, so one, they need to hit for 150. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they had to hit for 160, essentially. That's a lot of energies on YouTube, basically. They one-shot us. Um, yeah, and then we have resistance as well. So, like, we should be okay. Um, there's a Shrine of Memories, a Psychic Energy, okay. And a Sycamore, unfortunately. So Sycamore, discard the hand. Drawn seven new cards. Discard the Shaman, Hexmaniac, and a Mega Turbo. But what we could do is find a Baby Evatol. Okay, that's a Via Seeker. We'll just Sycamore discard our hand, draw 70 cards. I mean, we could find a Baby Evatol and something else, or not find anything. So put down a Baby, uh, Dark Rye, Dark Rye, uh, that, that. We can escape rope. Um, if we escape rope, it means he might not knock out our shaman because three, six, nine. No, I think I'm still gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass right now until our opponent's turn. Um, next turn, we can put down Silent Lab, play in, get a new hand of six. Uh, there's a DC going to the active. Right now, it's not taking a knock on our Shaman, and he's just going to Mega Ball, so that's actually fine with me. We find an EXP share, put on this Dark Rye. We'll put down Silent Lab, and we will in, uh, give both players a new hand of six. All right. Okay, so we find a switch. Oh, man, that's not good. Um... We can't even scoundering now because we put down the uh, the good the good guy. I swear to dark energy, we'll switch and we will just swing for seventy. I mean seventy nine ten eleven. We can hit for one ten next turn, which still not enough for knockout. <clears throat> I mean, unless we have like so many max looks. So DC going to the bitch mute you. A shrine of going down. A trubbish going down online as well. And there's Psych Infinity for what, 36, 9, 12, 15, 130, 140, okay. So there's an escape rope. We're gonna play Juniper, Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Alright, so we could put down the Evatol Max Elixir. 
Bird of nothing, that's always good, right? We'll put a dark energy in this guy, and... Let's see. We get hit for 70. Then he has 70 HP left. So right now I'm just going to Dark Pulse. Okay. Bring it up to 160. Okay. So if he goes for a damage change, we can still take a... Uh, it doesn't knock us out, so that's okay. Um, if he knocks us out, we can attack with this Dark Rite for a knockout. There's a like you're going to get active. Is he going to damage change? I'd actually be okay with this. So Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven to guards, discards another Shrine of Memories. So that's three Shrine of Memories gone now. Does it go for damage change or does it go for a Psychic Infinity? If he does go for Psychic Infinity, this Dark Eye will get a new energy. We can then put a Dark Energy on it and then take a knockout. So Psychic Infinity. Alright, so he's gonna go for that play, which is fine with me. We'll put a Dark Energy onto his Dark Eye. <clears throat> he's going on a four. But well, we get in and out to a low hand size, and maybe he can't find another Mega Mewtwo to start swinging. Alright, so we'll send a Dark Ride 20, 40, 60, 80. We'll take a knockout going down to 4 as well. And then we can find more Max Luxes, more Dark Energies, and all that good stuff. And uh, maybe have a chance. I mean, it was looking bad. But my opponent was in a weird situation where if they damage change, we will take a knockout. <laughs> So what two cards does he take? And there we go. Well, we'll see with the Dark Ride. And let's see what happens. On to our turn, we find a Max Luxor. So put a Dark Energy on this guy. We will Max Luxor. Or Dark Energy. And I'm putting on the Shaman. And then we'll end up putting it down to four. Okay. We find a Dark Ride, Max Luxor. All right, so put down a, a Dark Ride. We will Max Luxor. Put a dark energy on it. We'll put down another dark right. Put a dark energy on it. Oh, we already attached turn. Sorry. Um, well, dark pulse for the knockout. All right, there we go. Do it 120 to that mega Mewtwo. So going down to five or four. Sorry, not five. Going down to four. There's an ultra ball and a sound lab. Okay. But we're still into 120, which isn't not going to Mewtwo just yet. So on their opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. Um, there's the Mega Mewtwo coming down, which right now it's going to do 3, 6, 9, 12, 130, so that's not enough for a knockout. I think what we're going to do here is just hit my opponent, and then if he tries to... Hmm. I don't know what we're going to do right now. We'll just wait and pan out to see what happens. I wonder if other EXP shares in our deck, that could be really useful as well. So it's like Infinity, um, doing 110 on to our turn. We will, ooh, we get Hand Stammer, discard his DCE. Dark Energy, this guy, uh, Salt Lab, and I'm going to Via Seeker for a Sycamore. Um, just because my opponent didn't play anything last time. They didn't play a supporter card or anything. And with this, I hopefully find an EXP share and a Fighting Fear Belt. Alright, so there's Poe for those guys. Wow, oh, oh man, if only you had a switch. Alright, so we're going to EXP share this guy, uh, Flowstone, the Evital, Fighting Fury with this guy, and we will Dark Pulse. Alright, and there we go, do it 140. It's so owned to my opponent's turn, he can attach a DC, take a knockout, but then we take a knockout on him, and he doesn't have any Pokemon left on the field right now. So there's a Psych Energy, um, he needs a Mega Turbo right now, or he will not be able to attack. And even attacks right now, his his it's so bad for him. All right, so let's see what does our opponent do here if they there's a secret for Sycamore. I wonder why he just didn't hold onto his hand. I mean, why did he not just wait and attach a, a psychic a DCE? Who knows? Um. So we'll see if Sycamore discard his hand, draw on seven cards. He needs to find a Mega Turbo. To take a knockout, but even if he does that, we'll transfer the Dark Energy to this guy, and then we'll swing for a knockout on his Mega Mewtwo. Alright, so let's see what does our opponent do here. There's Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven to guards. Uh, discards another Mega Mewtwo as well, so now he'll have to find a Super Rod, because I doubt he plays four Mega Mewtwo's. So Trainer's Mill. There's the Mega Turbo that he does need, so he will take a knockout, going down to two price cards. All right. <sighs> hmm. I mean, I think we're still okay. I think we're still going with this game. I'm not too concerned. So Mega Turbo to the active. Okay. Another Mewtwo coming down as well. 
And he'll take a knockout, but like I said, he has two Mega Mewtwo's in the discard pile currently, so that's not good. You never want to have those in there. Um, what I'm scared of is he can license him to shame for the game. We play three Max Elixirs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. S 11 Dark Energies. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. Let's see, does he, what is he deciding right now? That's the big question. What is he deciding to do? He could retreat to like a garb. Um, just so his Mega Mewtwo doesn't get knocked out. Serves an Ultra Ball, going to discard two cards from his hand. Going to discard a Delinquent and a Psych Energy, okay. And I bet he's trying to figure out what's left in his deck. Does he have another attack or not? Okay, doesn't grab anything. And what does he do here? Doing 110, which is enough for the knockout, okay. There we go, 110. We'll move a Dark Energy from this guy to this guy. He goes down to 2. But we're going to both eat Dark Ride, take a knockout. Uh, how much damage are we doing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 110. On our turn, we find a Trainer's Mill, so we'll play that. We'll grab a Sycamore. I will Ultra Ball. I uh, discard Ultra Ball and Pokemon Center Lady. Let's leave what's left in our deck. All right. Oh, no more energy. So press done. And we will just go for a Dark Pulse for the knockout. Okay. Doing 130. Go down to 2. So 1 and 2. Find a Max Elixir and a Reverse Valley. We, but we know there's no more Dark Energies left in our deck. All right. So here comes Mewtwo. But his Mewtwo is not too scary right now. Um, he Okay. There's a DCE. Okay. It's still not scary. Trainer's Mail. There's a Spirit Link, but I mean, I doubt he plays the fourth Mega Mewtwo. That'd be really interesting if he does, though. I'll give him mad props. And we see a victory coming out. My opponent does not have any more attackers. He did discard all this Pokemon, and uh, man, that was uh, going to be a rough game. I mean, if he found a Super Rod, he could potentially take a knockout. Uh, but yeah, my opponent ran attackers, and that was a weird matchup, like just training attackers against Mega Mewtwo. We unfortunately had a very bad turn one, if I remember correctly, and we discarded a bunch of stuff. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, and hopefully we take another victory with the Dark Art EX deck. All right, so opponent gets L Loco um, something, uh, playing a Greninja deck. So Greninja versus Speed Dark Ride. Well, we won the coin flip, so that's great. We get a turn of setting up, um, especially against Greninja, which we'll need every single turn to count. All right, so my opponent, he, our opponent has no base Pokemon. We start Dark Ryan. We'll press done. We actually have a really good hand right now. All right, so there's Mulligan. Oh, he plays Shauna. Shauna. Okay, all right, all right, whatever. All out. I ain't going to say anything bad. So Pokemon coming down. And uh, let's start the party. Yes, we'll draw for Mulligan. There's an EXP share. We won't put it on the Hoopa just yet. <gasps> a Red Eyes. Oh, man. Oh, baby. No EXs can hurt this guy. So put a Flowstone. It's not Greninja, actually. All right, so a Hoopa. You Scoundering. We'll search for a Darkrai. Darkrai and Shaman. No, let's grab Darkrai and Shaman. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll grab, yeah, sure, we'll grab Dark Ride. That's fine, we have enough bench. So we'll grab the Easter guys. Uh, we'll put down a Dark Ride. Dark Ride. Uh, Evital. I just realized I put the Flow Stone on the active. That was very dumb of me. Um, EXP share one of these guys. Fighting Fear one of these guys. Um, Trainer's Mill. Brace Sycamore, okay. I'm just going to put a Dark Energy on this guy, and then Shaman set up for four. I meant to put the Fighting Fruit on the active, and then the D Flustered on the Hoopa. Unfortunately, I did that incorrectly. Uh, we'll put an EXP share on an Evasol. And we'll end, give them both a new hand of six. All right, can we find some Max Luxor? All right, there's Max Luxor, Dark Energy, Ultra Ball, and a Silent Lab. So, we're going to Max Luxor. We'll get top cards of our deck. We'll find a Dark Energy put on the Dark Rye. <laughs> And we, I'll put down Sound 11 pass. All right. So next time we can swing a Dark Ride in 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Um, if we find double Max Luxor, we can knock out the Red Dice. Turn two. We get to hit double Max Luxors, okay? So there's a rough seat coming down. All righty. Fighting, oh, I'm fighting Fear Bell. Calm down there. Water Energy Deactive, okay. 
uh, an end will both get a new hand of sex. Now, what we could have done something differently, I just thought about this, is we could have fighting for the Evital and try to go for a Darkness Blade for the knockout. Alright, so the Dive Ball. Let's see what he decides to get out here. There's another Red Rice. Oh my goodness. Calm down there. Alright, so Red Rice coming down. Fighting Fear Builds on it as well. Okay. Trainer's Mill. Look at top cards of his deck. There's a Ninja Boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ninja Boy. Alright, so on to our turn. We find a VS Seeker. So we're on a Max Luxor. Hit a Dark Energy on the Dark, right? We will Reverse Valley. Making our Dark Pokemon do more damage. Uh, we'll Fighting Field a Shaman. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna Sycamore. I know we're just turning two VS Seekers, but I want to take a knock on this guy ASAP. Oh, that's a lot of energy on our hand. So we'll put a Dark Energy on the other. We'll put a Dark Energy on this Dark Guy. We will Max Luxor. Dark Energy on this guy. Another knockout. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, baby. We got a turn two knockout. There we go. A Dark Pulse for 140. Uh, taking a knockout. Oh, we actually don't oh, Fighting Fear Belt. I, for, I forgot about Fighting Fear Belt. Oh, baby, a triple. All right. So I forgot about Ding Ding Fighting Fear Belt. So, Max Luxor. Not going to hit anything. Okay, that's good for us. A uh, DC to the active. Oh, no, guys. That's not what we want to see. Um, all right. So, see a Via Seeker. Ford and we'll both get a new hand of sex. Okay. But what we could do is hit, like, Enhanced Hammer and Team Flare Gun at the same time. Uh, there's a Team Flare Gun. Do we top deck the Enhanced Hammer? That's the question. So, Glaceon coming down. Resistant Blizzard for 70. Or 80, sorry. On our turn. We... Uh, Team Flare Gun. Discard the DCE. Pass. Okay. Um, maybe go run him out of DCEs. I don't know. Um, we could have liked him with the Red Dice as well. So there's a Manafi coming out, which now gives free retreat to first Pokemon. Okay. We'd also just knock in the Manaphy next turn, because we do 140 right now, so I don't know why he benched that. There's definitely any like liability Pokemon. So a uh, water energy deactive, he's actually gonna go for an ice beam. Uh Shauna uh, Shauna, what the heck? Guys, you know what I do to Shauna's? I I I I, I see the Shauna, it died. It there was a, a rip and a tear to this German Shauna. No Shauna's are safe for me. I'm gonna I am going to beat this person so I can say the Shauna is bad. You don't need it. Sorry, that's just, that's just me guys. I'm sorry. 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 All right, but I will miss uh, Max looks a rough seas. Don't care. He's just gonna go ice beam. Does he flip heads or tails? That's the question. If he flip heads, we're paralyzed and we'll be in trouble. All right, so let's see in a test. So we're paralyzed. So we get a Lysander. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to via seeker for a team flare gun. Discard a water energy off the active, put down Sound Lab, and pass on to my opponent's turn. Alright. Okay, this is gonna draw a card. Now if he finds a DC to take a knockout. He actually doesn't take a knockout this turn. That's, that's great. He only does 80. That's great. Now if he doesn't fight, if he doesn't find an energy, we can just light him take a knockout. That'd be pretty cool. There's another okay, another water energy. Uh, does he flip heads or tails? Big question coming up right now, guys. We'll find out here in a second. Does he flip another heads that paralyzes? Or okay, there's a Lysander. Bring it over. Oh, an Evital. Ooh, okay. Ice Beam. For 40. Intel. So now we can knock out his Reg Ice with our Evital. That is fine with me. So I'm just gonna Blivwing for uh 30. Take it a knockout. And there's no dark energy to discard out. Whatever, though, that's fine. I'll go down to five. There's a dark energy, okay. Um, so Team Floor got paying off right now really big, uh, which is amazing. Okay. My opponent has multiple EXs down too as well, which is fantastic. Now, if, if I was my opponent, I definitely would have a license of the Hoopa and try to get that stuck in the X spot. Don't know why he licensed the Evil Tall. Doesn't make that much two sense. Um, but who does he send up? 
He's probably going to save the Regice and hope to hit a DC to try to go for Resistance Blizzard for 80, which doesn't knock us out. So Super Rod, we got to deal with more Regices, baby. Oh, no, three Waters. Okay. Wow, three Waters. We discarded a bunch of Waters. That's great. Um, Does he find a DC? He's only played one so far, which means he has three left in our deck. There's a Via Seeker Fort in, which is fine with me. Our hand is okay, but it's not the best either. Can we find an escape rope and an energy? That'd be really cool. So Dark Energy, Lysander, uh, all right. And uh, there's a DC to active, so he will hit us for 80. Um, But I think that's okay. I think we're fine with this. I think I'm fine with it. I'm fine with him hitting us. So Resistance Blizzard for 80, okay. On our turn, we get a Trainer's Mill, so we'll play Trainer's Mill. We'll grab an escape rope, all right. We'll escape rope, and let's see who his opponent decides to send up. But, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually don't take a knockout, unfortunately. All right, so escape rope. Um, so we're going to send the Manaphy. All right, so we're going to send up Darkrai. We'll put a Dark Energy on the Darkrai X, and... Wow, that was the wrong Darkrai. That was a totally wrong Darkrai. Did not mean to put that on that guy. Um, how many VS seekers have we played? Three. So I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end. Uh, give us both new hands, okay? Pokemon still need another Dark Energy. So right now I'm just going to pass. No, I think we're gonna take a knock knockout. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna take a Dark Pulse for a knockout. All right, 140. Uh, we go down to four. I don't know why I put the energy on that one. I should have just put it on the active. That's me being silly. So via sticker and another escape rope. All right. So 140, 160. We still don't take a knock. Oh, we actually do take a knock on Red Eyes. Um, but we had to find a Lysander. If we get escape rope plus Lysander, we could pretty much knock out whoever we want to. He's going to teammates. Put any two cards in his stack. Okay, that's fine. Or in his hand. Sorry. If he puts out another Pokemon, we pretty much win. I'm guarantee I'm pretty sure we, we guarantee to win. So, gonna put two cards in his hand. There's a Lugia coming down, and there we go. That pretty much gives us game. There's a DC going to Lugia. Don't care about that really. And we'll see a resistance blizzard for 80. But now what we can do is we can um Dark Energy or Dark Rai. We can escape rope. Let's see who decides to send him. He'll probably send him the Lugia, most likely. That seems fine. Um, going for Air Ball next turn is okay. Let's see what does... Well, he's down three DCEs. Hmm. We could go for... No, I think we're still going to go for a uh, Dark Pulse. And we're going to Via Secret for it in. Uh, both of us get a new hand. There's a last Via Seeker as well, but we have two Lysanders in our deck. So yeah, that's fine. I know we get less cards. How many... We play... We have one EXP issue left, and we don't hit it. Okay, this is actually a really bad hand now. So we will Dark Pulse. Uh, not taking a knockout. Being very, very close. We could have retreated to this guy taking a knockout. Um, I, I guess I should That would have been the smarter play. Like, taking the knockout, going out of one, and then, like, just Lysander up the Glaceon, take the last two prize cards. Would have been, like, okay. Um... So there's a Shauna, gonna shuffle drop another Shauna, are you kidding me? Yeah, we definitely should have retreated, just took a knockout. Um, yeah, that was just me being silly. So Water Energy Deactive. Um, there's an Escape Rope. Hmm. Huh. Who do we send in here? Um. I'm gonna send in the Dark Eye with the 80 damage on it. The red rice comes up, okay. There's a resistance blizzard for 80. Okay, we're not knocked out. On to our turn. There's a sycamore. So a sycamore discard our hand draw 70 cards. There's an e-hammer. Alright, so that's good. We can e-hammer, discard the DC off the active. We put a dark energy on the hoopa. Retreat to the other dark eye, and we'll pass. Okay. So there's a Lysander, gonna bring up the Evitol. 
uh, energy, so he will Ice Beam for the knockout. Um, but that's okay. We can then take a... Can we take a knockout on him? I don't think so. So Tails will put a Dark Energy on this guy. He goes out of five, but we can send him Dark Right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, 140, 150. No, we're only doing 140 right now. So a Trainer's Mill. For a Pokemon... No, we'll grab a Lysander. Okay, so grab a Lysander. We will... Lysander of the Lugia. Put a Dark Energy down to Hoopa. And we will Dark Pulse. Okay. We're doing 160. Next time we can put a Dark Energy down. Lights of the Glaze on. Take out the game. So go down to one Price Guard. There's a Dark Energy and an N. Okay. All right. So here comes Regice. Own to our opponent's turn. Now what he could do is a Lysander. This Dark Dark Knockout. There's a Water Energy. And, okay, and there's Shauna, so we will win this game. Like I said, my, my opponent unfortunately put out too many Pokemon, and we he could have maybe won if that was the case. Uh, so why aren't you going down? Like, if he attacked with just the Reg Ice, he might have won the game. But since we played Team Flare Guard and Enhanced Hammers, all that good stuff, um, we're still okay. So we'll Lysander, bring up the Glaceon, put in the Dark Energy on the Dark Eye, and we will go for a Dark Pulse for 180 damage. Taking the game, and there is the Turbo uh, Dark Deck. That was a lot of fun. Oh, there's the last Max Look, so we had a prize, unfortunately. So, in these games, uh, we took down a Mega Mewtwo deck, which is weird because we have resistance, so much HP. We're trading, um, basically just trading knockouts. Um, and he discarded his Mewtwo's, discarded too many Mega Mewtwo's, and lost. And that game was against Regice, which you think Regice is an auto loss. But if your opponent doesn't play smart, um, you can escape or Blyce into Red Ice. You can just Lyce into Pokemon off the bench. And you play cards like Enhanced Hammer or Team Flare Gun to get energies off his Red Ice so he can't continue attacking. So there you go, guys. Hopefully there's this episode of Main Deck Monday. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 6 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.